you in a nice way to, to end the day there with that birdie on 18. Three shot cushion heading into tomorrow. Just give us your overall assessment of 54 holes. Uh, well, 36 holes I played really, really good. Today was such a grind, but I knew that I didn't feel great in the range before I went out and it was going to be a grind, so um, battled away and chipped and putted my way to shooting a really good 68. Uh, ran a tough golf course and extended my lead. Can't ask for much more, to be honest. Early on, Filippo had closed that gap. It felt quite tense watching it. Did you feel a bit of pressure at that point? No, because it's just it's way too early to start feeling pressure. Like I'll feel pressure uh, tomorrow in the back nine, but like I just was just trying. To, you're just joking for position at this moment. It seems like so. Just kind of got on with it and tried to enjoy it, even though it's. It was tough because I wasn't totally on my game, but uh, I, I grinded it out really well. You mentioned the chipping there, no more so than the, the wedge you made at six to, to save par there. How important was that? Yeah, I've been working on my chipping a lot and wedging and stuff, like a good one at the last. I thought it was going to be closer, but the chip at six was just that kind of stuff for momentum, just to keep ticking it along. It makes such a big difference. You walk on to the next tee feeling great rather than walking on to the next tee thinking about just making a bogey. So, um, yeah. Chip at six was good and a couple other good ones out there. As you mentioned, that free shot lead going into tomorrow. Cushion could have been even bigger had it not been for those two bogeys and towards the yeah. end. How frustrating were those? Not frustrating really because I'd made loads of bogeys. I'd, like, I I'd, should have made other bogeys. I got lucky breaks and stuff. So I think I was, everyone's making mistakes. It's not just me. It's a tough course. So it was annoying, but like, when I, like everyone's going to do it. It's not just me. So I just tried to look at it that way. My caddy was like, listen, it's not easy out here, it's a swirly wind as well, so other people are going to make mistakes. So I just tried to, like, yeah, you're right. Um, so, kind of done well the last couple of holes and happy to finish with a birdie. Now, tomorrow, obviously, a different task to what you faced in Qatar as a front runner this time. How will you approach that final round tomorrow? Just the same, like trying to have fun and stuff. Just I know, like, I had the similar kind of, I had a four shot lead in Kenya and didn't do really well, but, um, you know, I'll learn from that experience and then. If I win tomorrow, then brilliant, and if not, like, I'm playing another thousand tournaments, so it's not, I'll just kind of learn from it as much as I can. Great attitude to have. Thanks Thank you. Cheers.